WWE could have another major return on the way. So we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out what's new for Liv Morgan, Adam Copeland, The Bloodline, and much more. Let's start things off with another major return that's on the way. That's from AJ Styles. Just a few weeks back, AJ Styles appeared to be on the verge of breaking into the Bloodline storyline. He didn't like how Jimmy Uso disrespected Maya Yim, and that entire situation caused AJ Styles to be pulled right into everything that was going on within the Bloodline. AJ even teamed up with John Cena and appeared to be ready to take on the Bloodline with him. But as we saw go down, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa would end up unleashing such a brutal beatdown backstage on AJ Styles that AJ hasn't been seen at all since before Fastlane, and he's still missing in current day. While well, reports claim that AJ Styles is obviously not injured and has just been missing due to storyline related reasons from that on-screen beatdown, but they also claim that the time for AJ's return is nearing. Telling by the timing of how everything is unfolding, it appears that maybe they didn't want AJ Styles' issues with the Bloodline to overlap with LA Knight's story with the Bloodline. So maybe once Roman takes care of LA Knight, Maybe that's when we'll see AJ Styles step up to the forefront to continue his battle against the Bloodline and possibly even challenge Roman Reigns for the undisputed Universal title. You just look at the matter in how AJ Styles was written off, and it's just clear that he has to return with his sights set on Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa. And since he's going after those two, he'll naturally attract Roman's attention as well. Roman and AJ are not strangers to each other at all. They've had numerous amounts of battles with each other in years past. But at the same time, it's also been a handful of years since their last one-on-one -on -one meeting. So it appears that there's a strong chance we'll see AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns following Roman's current feud with LA Knight. But we also have to take in the recent rumors that Roman may be done after Crown Jewel until 2024 into consideration. So, assuming that's true, AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns would have a chance of happening at Royal Rumble 2024 if Roman will miss the remainder of the year. But maybe we will see AJ Styles return here in the coming weeks to continue things with Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa to close out 2023. So, be on the lookout for that. It seems that AJ Styles will be diving deeper into the Bloodlines business the second that he returns. Adam Copeland had everyone believing back in August that he was wrestling his last match and how that'll be it for him and his legendary career. And fast forward almost two months after that and he was making his grand debut for AEW. A clear indication that actually retirement may not be as close as everyone thought it was for him. Well, Copeland recently spoke with ESPN's The Drop to talk about what was going through his head back in August and his updated look at retirement, he had this to say, quote, retirement was an option. There were three options. It was WWE, retirement, and once I was free of my contract, AEW was an option. I had those three and I sat with it. I really did. I had discussions with the family, with my friends, and it really was lyric. My nine-year-old put it to me plainly. Are you still having fun? Yeah. Where are you going to have the most fun? With Uncle Jay, Kristen Cage, it seemed like a no-brainer. And then talking to Tony Khan and his excitement levels for it, that gets you excited. We started going down the list and seeing all those potential matchups and the stories we could tell. It got very exciting. I'm also a realist in regards to there's only so long that can last. I don't want to be pulling anything down. I still want to be propping up. I don't know how long that means, but I do know it gets tougher every year. I feel great, and as long as I feel great and feel like I can maintain a certain level, that's how long I'll be around." End quote. So that's Adam Copeland's updated look towards retirement. As long as he's competing at a high level and his body feels great, he's going to keep it going for as long as he wants. Even just earlier this year, after WrestleMania 39, Adam Copeland said that he felt like he had at least one more year left in him of competing at a high level. So if he maintains that level, and as long as he doesn't lose a step, then it looks like he'll continue to stay inside the ring. 
Liv Morgan has had a pretty rough few months. She had to relinquish the tag team titles due to injury-related reasons. But to everyone's surprise, she trained really hard and was able to come back from that injury in only a few weeks when the word was that she would miss several months. But right when Liv overcame those odds and came back, she went down with another separate injury and has been out of action since long before SummerSlam. Well, it's now being reported that Liv Morgan is nearing a return and is expected back real soon. If Liv does return in the coming weeks, then she does have multiple ways they can handle her return. Rhea Ripley was obviously the one responsible for taking Liv Morgan out of action on WWE television. So one logical direction is for Liv Morgan to come after Rhea Ripley for revenge. Rhea and Liv have so much backstory together that it could really make for a great story and feud. Remember that Liv and Rhea used to be a tag team back in 2022. And Rhea Ripley first started this Judgment Day heel turn by attacking Liv Morgan. So it'll be a nice little full circle moment to revisit Rhea and Liv because of all their history with each other, how well they know each other, and the added fact that it was Rhea who put Liv on the shelf to begin with. And if not that direction, then WWE could place Liv and Raquel back together. They were just a tag team a few months ago, even becoming tag team champions with one another, and they really didn't get to have a full reign together as champions. So maybe they do team back up and set their sights on the tag team titles. But it'll be interesting to see if Raquel even wants to team up with Liv Morgan, because ever since Liv has been out of the picture, Raquel has been competing as a single star and getting lots of opportunities to win the women's world title. So it'll be interesting to see if they do play with that dynamic and have Raquel tell Liv that she wants to stay on her own. There's definitely a lot of directions to take Liv Morgan in there with her return. Does she return on her own? Does she go after Rhea Ripley and try to win her second WWE Women's World title? Or does she reunite with Raquel Rodriguez? It'll be interesting to see what WWE does with that major return that should be coming up here before the end of the year. But what are your thoughts on today's stories with Liv Morgan, Adam Copeland, and AJ Styles? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.